All right, we're gonna make ourselves a little grid alien here. Um, I really like this pose for the grid alien because it looks like he's very observant. I got with me some jungle green, which is like a lime green. I'm going to make sure it's not too thin. Okay. So what I'm going to do is gently, the tip of this brush, try to do a grid pattern. I may take, may take a few tries to get it right. But you just have to do this little thatching on the dome. And it doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. It just has to be recognizable. I think he's done already. There we go. So there's how you do the thatching on the tip of the head there. I am going to come in here. I'm going to put a little bit more on this side. To give it some character, I like to really make it punch by kind of going over on both sides a little bit. There you go. And if your brush stroke gets a little bit too much, you can just wipe it off. Or wash off your brush. Kind of wash off the area with a slightly wet brush. go in with some water down black and kind of touch it up. Sometimes that, that can help your lines get thinner too, is by um, going back in with black and just kind of defining the little holes in the, in the mesh pattern. Ta-da! So there we go. And I used the, uh, the painting techniques in the previous video on how to do some speed painting for these guys. And so I'm going to go back in on this guy, do a little touch-ups, and then he'll be done. Alright, there we go. That only took about uh, two minutes to put in a little bit of copper right there. I took some yellow and I kind of brushed it gently over the tubes. And because that blue wash was still kind of wet, it turned them a little greenish. Um, and then I went in and touched the teeth a little bit with some silver and then painted a little black rim around the very bottom of the base there. So anyways, yeah, if you're painting a crit alien, that's how you do it.